IT employees working around the clock to get students in Haverhill back to school after a ransomware attack. Lisa Greshi is live in Haverhill with what parents need to know. Lisa. Brianna, the latest from the superintendent, this could have been a whole lot worse with hackers only gaining access to a limited number of school computers. And though it will take time for the entire system to be back online, hundreds of students will be returning to their classrooms today. Our issue at this point is not either expertise or manpower. It simply takes time to do the work slowly and methodically. Superintendent Margaret Murata giving an update during last night's school committee meeting. This after some parents and students did show up to school yesterday unaware of the extent of this ransomware attack. Though the internet is still down, there will be hotspots at each school so they can operate. Today, students pre-K through the fourth grade will be returning to in-person learning, and middle school and high school students will be fully remote. While the district's IT department sorts through each and every bit of the system, school programs including Google Meet and School Brains are expected to be up and running. Running. The superintendent was at the Tilton Elementary School yesterday, breaking the news to some students and telling us this was a hard hit to take. I'm disappointed too. I mean, we become educators because we love children, and it's been a tough year for people who enjoy this work because we like the children. I call it very unfortunate um, and bad timing. Parents of elementary school students are being asked to send a note in their child's backpacks today with your contact number and your child's mode of transportation home. The superintendent says the district is working with a cybersecurity agency as well as the Department of Homeland Security, the FBI, and the Haverhill Police. Reporting live in Haverhill, Lisa Rushy, WBZ, this morning.